Moving on, Nigeria's former Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekwaremadu was on Saturday physically attacked by a mob while attending a cultural event in Germany. Mr. Ekwaremadu, who confirmed the attack in a statement, said the attackers were members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a southeast secessionist group. In the video, which was widely circulated online, the mob attacked Mr. Ekwaremadu as he attempted to enter the venue of the event in Nuremberg, Germany. In the one-minute video, the mob chanted, go back, while trying to deny Mr. Kuremado entry. The lawmaker had initially retreated, but later turned back towards the entrance of the venue. In reaction, the men furiously dragged Mr. Kuremado out of the venue, tearing his cloth. The attack has drawn condemnation from the chairman of Nigerian Sin Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Erewa, labeling it as an embarrassment to the nation. She urged Nigerians to be of good behavior everywhere and called on the German authorities to ensure that there are consequences for those responsible for the attack. Plus TV Africa earlier had a chat with the public affairs Public affairs analyst Bola Oba, who says those involved in the act will face Germany's criminal justice system. Essentially, they have defined themselves to not be worthy of being called human beings because there are better ways and methods for human beings to settle scores especially partisan-based cause. The most designable reason, the most ostensible reason for the ignominious act was because it probably wasn't hyper enough for them. We must remember that a Kremadu is as indigo as anybody on the face of the earth mm -hmm. who is Igbo. And even under fire in the Earth Assembly, he was one of the figures that stood as vehemently as possible to defend Igbo interest when they perceived that President Muhammadu Buhari was deliberately marginalizing the Igbos. It was a very vociferous voice. So for anybody at all mm. claiming to be waving the respect for Ndigo flag anywhere in the world to treat a Kremado the way he was treated, that person is not worthy of the title of being an Indigo. If that incident had happened, say, in Onicha, or if it had happened, say, in Enugu, I would have thought that essentially it was a failure of security. But for that incident to have happened in... Far away Germany. Far away Germany. In a rule of law respecting country. Hmm. I think some characters will soon learn that maybe, just maybe, they overpushed the envelope. Hmm. And I know that the German criminal justice system, once it's activated, those guys will regret it. Hmm. I am cock sure that around the neighborhood there will be state-rigged cameras. Those guys will be unraveled. Let's wait till, and you know what? Fortunately, an establishment like yours, too, are in a position to put a call through, mm -hmm. through the German Boschaft, the, the German embassy, sorry, mm -hmm. they call embassy Boschaft. Okay. Uh, through the German embassy mm -hmm. in Lagos, mm -hmm. you could route a call through to the prosecutor's department of Stadt Nuremberg, that's the city of Nuremberg, which mm -hmm. is a major city, too. We're talking of a city as historic and as you know, reputable as talking about, say, Kaduna in Nigeria, mm -hmm. or say, uh, Ibadan in Nigeria. So ultimately, I know that we crack this, and the characters who fomented this will ultimately regret it.